Hi everyone, Grant here. In this series of video, I'm going to guide you through the very basic knowledge of Arduino. How to use the software, how to wire, and how to code up for your Arduino. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you about how to install the Arduino software and how to connect your Arduino to a PC. Now let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is go to arduino.cc. Now here I'm just googling Arduino and usually it's the first link that popped up. Now go to software, download, since I'm using Windows 10 I'm just going to download the Windows installer file. Now click just download and if you want to donate feel free to do that. Now just follow the software installation guide, it should be pretty straightforward. And it usually takes about 2-3 to three minutes for the installation to finish. When the installation is done, run Arduino software. The next thing you want to do is to configure the software and let it know the correct Arduino board that we're using and the port that the board is connecting to. Be sure to connect the Arduino board first to your computer. Now go to Tools, select Board, and then select corresponding board that you are using. Mine is Mega2560 in this case. And then go to Port and then select the port that your Arduino is currently connected to. Mine is Port 6 in this case. Now we're going to test the communication between the Arduino board and the PC. You know, sometimes connection may seem to be fine, but there could be some driver issues. Just upload the blank template you can see every time when the program starts. If it says that the code has been successfully uploaded, congratulations, you are done with the first step into Arduino. Now the most common issue I've ever seen is that the driver for the serial port was not successfully installed. Now if you're in this situation and using a Windows machine, go to Device Manager, find the Port tab, expand it, usually you can see the device is connected. Right click the item and install the driver. Just follow the installation guide from Windows and it should be good to go. Now because the driver has already been installed in my computer, my Arduino is showing up properly in the device manager. Thanks for watching, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will try to answer them as fast as possible.